Get Set Go is a very great program. I mean, it was really good to get involved with it today. Um, this is the most busiest time of my season and to be able to give uh, a couple of hours to be there with 400 kids screaming their heads off and to be amongst those kids just made my day and, and, and made my time here in New Zealand more worth it knowing that you know hopefully one day the, these kids could um, you know take what I've what, what, what I've done for New Zealand and carry it on and just be fit and be healthy and be the best they could be. It was a fantastic opportunity of 400 school children coming in uh, in the uh, Athletics New Zealand's uh, fundamental movement program called Get Set Go. Um, we had all these children coming in, testing themselves, playing activities, having fun. They had the added benefit of having someone like Valerie Adams, a uh, world uh, champion gold medal shot, put, shot putter there, in amongst them all, uh, inspiring them, talking to them, playing with them. And I, it was just a, a wonderful opportunity and it was a privilege to be there to see her interact with those kids and, and really inspire them and uh, it, was a, it was a great occasion. We have so much talent in New Zealand, I think I've said this on a number of occasions, but it's just a matter of you know getting behind them, supporting them and leading them on the right track. Sport New Zealand's job is to provide opportunity for all New Zealanders to participate and, and have the, uh, the, the value and, and benefits of sport, be it young kids all the way right through to people like Valerie, be it grassroots or all the way to the, you know, the world stage. And, and so that pathway starts with young kids and it's their first involvement in sport. And we saw that this morning with the kids coming in, having that opportunity to have some fun and learn a little bit more around their fundamental movement skills. Hopefully one of those kids will get a love of sport uh, and that love will turn into a lifelong passion and they'll be involved in sport. And for some, those uh, very clever few um, may get that obsession about wanting to be a world champion and may pursue a high performance uh, path and end up being a world champion like Valerie. Part of their goal is to develop that grassroots, grassroots yeah. area. Tell us about um, you know, how, how important that is. Do you know, it's, it's very important, not only for getting yourself sort of finding a prodigy to become the next Valerie Adams or the next Sarah Elmore or something like that, but, but also just for them, for way of life and um, keeping fit and healthy and um, living a better lifestyle than you know maybe they are growing up in, so to speak. But it is very important, you know. This is where our stars are made, and this is where it's all happening. You know, I went and saw kids who I think were about uh, maybe six or seven years old, you know, and they were quite young, and there were some talented young kids who threw like the shot. Um, well, the sort of ball they had there, like 10 metres, and I was getting excited at that, and I told um, their mum, hey, you need to take this kid to the athletics club, and they were telling me that, you know, they're going to try it, because I've told them to sort of take the kids there, and I hope, you know, that through this programme, we could pick out one or two athletes who could be become good, at, good for New Zealand one day. Just recently, we have created a new entity called High Performance Sport New Zealand whose purpose, sole purpose is to dedicate uh, their job to making our athletes the best that they can be. So their job is to provide a, a single point of contact for athletes, to provide the services that they need to ensure that when they get to the start line at a major event, uh, like the Olympic Games, they're, they're prepared and, and ready for it and can succeed on the world stage. High Former Sport and Visa have been bloody great. I know I've been with Visa now for six years, and High Former Sport has been there for a while now, and I, without their help and their support, I wouldn't have been able to do what I do now, even back then when I when I started up. So I really have them to thank um, for financially helping me and being there supporting me right throughout my career um, to enable me to, to do the best I could for the country. The $60 million a year we put into high performance sport is about creating heroes, is about uh, providing opportunity for these athletes to be the best they can be. And you know, at the moment our, our system is, is developing and, and, and is growing. You know, uh, last year was our most successful high performance year ever with 22 athletes uh, in the top three of their event in the world. So this time going into Beijing, nine, uh, we had nine athletes in the top three. Now we have 22. So our system is growing, it's maturing, developing. We've got some marvellous programs, some fantastic athletes and coaches and all bodes well for uh, uh, London with uh, our 10 medals or more target. Uh, we are quietly optimistic about doing well. If the funding wasn't there, we would have to get a normal job and try and juggle working and um, training, something that I have done in the past. So to have that extra government support, it's, it's been very, very helpful in enabling us to go out there and, and win medals and do well for New Zealand. Um, it wasn't there when I first started track and field, but it sort of came in halfway when, when I sort of won 2007 World Champs, but it's made, played a big part in, in my achievements. Well, I think Valerie uh, inspires us as individuals and as a nation. She's a very unique character. Um, she's very down to earth, very authentic, very confident, um, very, very comfortable in her own skin, uh, 
and she's be able to express herself about uh, being a, a great New Zealander and I'm very proud to represent New Zealand on the international stage. So in that regard, she's a great role model. Uh, she's a great ambassador. Um, you know, so what she has done, her success is on the athletics track and off. I think earn our, our respect, and New Zealanders are tremendously proud of who she is and, and what she's done. You know, there, there is the pressure there. There's always going to be the pressure there, whether I like it or not. Um, being the reigning Olympic champion or world champion, it is a hard, you know, sort of title to carry. And but at the same time, you have to take the challenges as they come. People, it's Olympic here. It comes around every four four years and it's the pinnacle of my sporting career and so it's, it, and so is everybody else's sporting career so they're there to win. I'm going to be, be as prepared as I can be come August the 6th then I can give all I have um, to try and win my title back. The pressure is there and yes it is a lot um, more this year than any other year but that's that's what I like and, and that's a part of the journey and that's just what sport is all about.